Salam, peace. Hello, Abes. I am your instructor, Engineer Rhymes, and today we are going to discuss biological aspect of post-harvest handling of crops. At the end of the lesson, the learners are expected to classify fruits and vegetables based on their morphoanatomical structures and length of post-harvest life. Relate the morphoanatomical structures of fruits and vegetables on the length of their post-harvest life. Determine the chemical basis for handling common fruits and vegetables. Explain important physiological processes that affect the post-harvest life of fruits and vegetables. And determine the factors affecting the physiological processes of fruits and vegetables after harvest. Lesson Outline Classification of Crop Produce Structure of Fruits and Vegetables Chemical basis for handling fruits and vegetables. Post harvest physiology. Factors affecting physiological processes in fruits and vegetables after harvest. Classification of crop produce. Fruits botanically are mature ovaries and seed bearing parts of plants. Include grains, legumes, nuts, cucumbers, coffee, mangoes, peppers, tomatoes, citrus, bananas, grapes, strawberry, pineapple, lansones, rambutan, dragon fruit, kaong, etc. The succulent, high moisture, and generally sweet fruits and consumed raw as dessert rather than main meals. Vegetables are all other parts of plant which are edible, include roots, stems, tubers, leaves, etc. These are generally consumed, processed in one form or the other, and part of main meal. Harvested fruits and vegetables have the following characteristics, high moisture content and highly perishable. Morphoanatomical basis for perishability of fruits and vegetables. Plant part or organ utilized. The response of a commodity to its surroundings and to the method of handling depends on what organ it is. Leaves and flowers wilt easily, flower buds open, fruits ripen, bulbs, tubers, and storage roots sprout and shoot, tips elongate. Nature of the fruit wall. Fruits and fruit vegetables vary in the nature of their fruit walls. The fruit wall consists of both the peel and the edible portion excluding the seed, as you can see in the diagram below. Some terminologies in relation to fruit wall. Rind, the tough and leathery peel of citrus and watermelon. Pulp, the edible portion of citrus. Aril, the edible portion of rambutan, mangustin, durian, and lansones. The nature of the fruit wall greatly influences the effect of the environment on the organ and its susceptibility to mechanical damages. The thin outer part of the fruit wall and succulent pulp of some fruits like tomatoes make them susceptible to damages. Fruits with leathery peel are less susceptible to bruises as in star fruit and apple. Fruits with thick and hard fruit wall like cucumbers, melons, and squash are better able to withstand damage than those with soft fruit walls like tomatoes and bananas. Surface area to volume ratio. It determines the reactive area for respiration, transpiration, penetration of chemicals and microorganisms. The greater the surface area to volume ratio, the faster the diffusion of gases involved in respiration, exit of water through transpiration, and entry of microorganisms and chemicals. This result to shorter post-harvest life. Nature of the cuticle The cuticle is the non-cellular waxy layer above the epidermal cells of the commodity. The epidermal cells comprise the first layer of the cells exposed to the environment. The thicker and more complex the cuticle, 
the greater is its protective capacity for moisture loss, penetration of microorganisms and chemicals, mechanical damage, temperature changes, escape of labor components. Immature fruits deteriorate at a faster rate than mature ones. Mature fruits have thick complex and waxy cuticles whereas immature ones have thin, irregular, and less waxy cuticle. In wing beans, the wing portion has thinner cuticle, hence it wilts at a faster rate than the other parts of the pot. Lansones is not waxy, hence lansones loses water fast which shows up as browning. Banana deteriorates at a much slower rate. Pomelo has thicker rind, hence loses water slower compared to the landan. Number of stomata. The stomata are the main passageways for the loss of water and entry of air for respiration. The more stomata, the faster will be the deterioration of the commodities. As the cuticle develops during full development and maturation, some of the stomata get covered. Pechay has 13,000 stomates per centimeter square in the lower surface of one leaf and possibly twice as much for both surfaces. Immature fruits have more stomata than mature ones, which partially explain why immature fruits deteriorate faster. Amount of hairs and or spines Hairs or spines are elongations of the epidermal cells. Visible hairs or spines are known as emergences, while tiny hairs which may not be visible for the naked eye are called trichomes. The special name for the hair of rambutan is spintern. The more trichomes, the faster is the deterioration since they increase the surface area to volume ratio of the commodities. A single rambutan fruit has 200 to 400 spin turns with several trichomes per spin turn. Lansones has trichomes aside from having no wax on the cuticle. Chinese cabbage has more trichomes than mustard while pechai has none. Presence of lenticels. Lenticels are circular groups of protruding air-filled cells with a central opening which often takes the place of stomates in fruits, stems, and roots. Presence of latticifers. Latticifers are sap or latex producing ducts surrounding the vascular bundles. When the latticifers are cut open, when harvested or injured, latex is released. Hence, the flows of latex on the stem must be avoided or washed off before it hardens. Classification of food crops based on their post-harvest life. Perishables are food crops whose food value is maintained over a short period of time after harvest. Durables are food crops which can be maintained as food over a long period of time. Table 5.1 show the properties of durable and perishable crops, but let us focus on perishable crops. Continual or semi-continual harvesting is often possible. Long-term storage may therefore be avoided. Harvest windows are very variable. Critical periods may be 1 to 3 days. For semi-durable crops, the harvest period may be over many weeks. Processing to physiologically stable products often used as an alternative to storing fresh produce. Many shapes often asymmetrical and therefore difficult to handle without damage. Large units mostly weighing between 5 gram and 5 kilogram. High moisture content commonly 50 to 90 percent and moderate to high respiratory activity. Soft, textured tissues prone to injury and predation. Physiologically perishable, inherent storage life of few days or weeks. All the longer for semi-durable, some of which may be stored for several months. Storage depreciation caused by both inherent processes, respiration, sprouting, and compositional changes, especially ripening, and external factors such as water loss, temperature, stress, molds, bacteria, insects, and pests. Table 1.3 shows fresh horticultural crops classified according to relative perishability and potential storage life in air at near optimal temperature and relative humidity. So relative perishability at very low 
to the potential storage life in weeks of greater than 16, the commodities are tree nuts, dried fruits, and vegetables. At the very high relative perishability with less than 2 weeks are apricot, blackberry, blueberry, cherry, fig, raspberry, strawberry, asparagus, bean sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, cantaloupe, green onion, leaf, lettuce, mushroom, pea, spinach, sweet corn, tomato, and ripe, most cut flowers and foliage, fresh cut fruits and vegetables. The chemical basis of handling the harvested commodities. Carbohydrate content. Fruits and vegetables are complex carbohydrates which supply nutrients such as vitamins and minerals. Storage organs contain more carbohydrates hence usually last longer. When sugars are being converted to starch, there is a loss of sweetness in commodities such as in corn. The conversion of starch to sugars in potatoes when stored at a temperature below 10 degrees Celsius becomes undesirable for processing. Sugar causes browning during cooking. Presence of protopectins. Pectic substances are mainly deposited in the cell wall and middle lamella, acting as cementing materials. They occur in the form of protopectin, pectinic acids, pectin, pectic acids. Total pectic substances increase in amount during the development of fruits. As the fruit ripens, the contents of soluble pectates increase while the total pectic substances decrease. Protopectin is one of the substances which form insoluble salts with calcium or magnesium and is found as a cementing substances between cells. Pectin is a carbohydrate in the cell wall of plants. It is a breakdown product from hemicellulose protopectins which is generated during ripening of the fruit. Pectin itself is later broken down to pectinic acid and finally pectic acid. During this chemical breakdown process, the fruit gets softer as the cell walls degenerate. Guava, pineapples, and oranges contain high pectin, while soft fruits like cherries and strawberries contain few. Under acidic conditions, pectin forms a gel. This effect is used for making jams and jellies. Pigment the change of color during ripening is due to changes in the pigments. Main pigments responsible for specific color of some commodities. The color green, blue, green, yellow, green in most commodities where the main pigment is chlorophyll. Red in tomatoes, lycopene, orange of carrots for carotene, red in strawberry for anthocyanin, yellow in papaya for cryptosanthine, and purple in eggplant for delphinidin. Pigment anthocyanins with the color blue, purple, red found in berries, grapes, red peppers, beets, eggplant, and plums. While beta carotene for orange or yellow color found in carrots, pumpkin, sweet potatoes, citrus, papaya, melon, squash. For curcumin, for the yellow color, can be found in turmeric, lutein, yellow or orange, found in kale, broccoli, spinach, lycopene, color red, found in tomatoes, watermelon, red grapefruits, and zeaxanthin, yellow color, found in corn. Fats and acids. Fats in avocado, malic acid in apple, citric acid from citrus and pineapple, lemons and grapes, ascorbic acid from guava, orange and grapes, tartaric acid of grapes, bananas, and tamarind. Avocado fat. You need not worry about the fat content of avocado as this fat is not harmful nor does it increase your cholesterol levels. Saturated fats are those types of fat that are harmful and increase cholesterol levels. However, monounsaturated fats, avocado fat is of this type. And polyunsaturated fats are not harmful and do not increase cholesterol levels. On the contrary, monounsaturated fat and avocado fat 
help lower cholesterol. At maturation, reducing sugar increases while the acidity decreases. Hence, the matured or ripe commodities taste sweeter. Physiological processes that occur in harvested commodities. All fruits and vegetables are living organs. They use oxygen and produce carbon dioxide during respiration. The process by which carbohydrates and other substrates such as organic acids, proteins, and fats are metabolized. Respiration is an oxidation process by which organic materials or products of photosynthesis are broken down to simpler forms accompanied by the release of energy and heat. Respiration thereby provides the energy necessary for cells to maintain structure and for ripening processes such as color and flavor development. The substrates cannot be replenished once the fruit or vegetable has been removed from the plant. Faster respiration rates will result in loss of food nutritional value, loss of saleable weight, poorer flavor, and thus reduced product quality. This is a semantic diagram showing effects of fast respiration of a commodity. With greater heat evolved, the faster will be the respiration and the fast depletion of food reserves. Then energy finally decreases. Synthesis stops or fine layered structures become disorganized. Then cells collapse, tissues break down, and shorten storage life. This process is a very good indicator of the potential post-harvest life of a commodity. Faster respiration means faster release of heat, which increases the temperature of the surroundings of the commodity, especially if packed tightly. The energy source is depleted and the build-up of compounds necessary for maintaining the organization of the tissues and cell stops. The commodities with high respiration rates cannot be expected to last long. Commodities with low respiration rates are storage organs. Example, onions, potato, gabi, sweet potato, yams, and ginger. Respiration rate as about 1.52 mg carbon dioxide per kilogram per hectare. Commodities with intermediate rates are exemplified by many fruits at physiological maturity. The respiration rate of lanzones is 70 mg carbon dioxide per kilogram per hectare. Commodities with high rates are organs at immature stage. Example, asparagus, snap beans, cauliflower, okra, young corn, bean sprouts, the respiration rate is 570.6 mg carbon dioxide per kilogram per hectare at 26 degrees centigrade. The main organs of a plant are root, stem, leaf, flower, and fruit. To keep these organs alive, their organization must be maintained. Once there is a breakdown in this organization, even at the cellular level, there is a corresponding change in the metabolism of the commodity which eventually shows in the state of deterioration. To maintain the organization and sustain metabolism, energy is made available through respiration using carbohydrates accumulated before harvest. Post-harvest changes, a view of spoilage of fresh fruits by microbes and biochemical changes. Product quality at harvesting, look fresh and attractive. Poor quality of products due improper handling after harvest, looks dull with dark spots. Lengthening of post-harvest life therefore calls for good production practices in order to have greater energy source at harvest and respiration should be slowed down after harvest to enable the source of energy to last for a long period of time. Transpiration is the loss of water from the plants. Most fruits and vegetables are composed of cells loosely bound together with considerable intercellular spaces which interconnect and lead to lenticels or stomates.
Water from cells vaporizes into the intercellular spaces and maintains an essentially saturated atmosphere. Water vapor may then move to the atmosphere through the stomachs or lenticels, stems, scars, or through injured areas or directly through breaks in the cuticle. Horticultural products can be regarded as water inside pleasing packages or water with a mechanical structure. Therefore, water loss or transpiration is a major factor affecting quality of fruits and vegetables. Consequences of water loss Loss in weight of all commodities Softening of fruits and vegetables Wilting of leaves and flowers Shriveling of fruits and root crops Stem and green breakdown of oranges Discoloration of rambutan and lanzones Fresh fruits and vegetables consist mainly of water It could be as high as 98% by weight in fully turgid leaves Loss of water can dry up a commodity A 10% loss in weight may result in 100% commercial loss The high amount of water in commodities makes them succulent and therefore susceptible to mechanical damage Implication, the faster water is lost from the commodity, the faster it loses its freshness. Therefore, transpiration should be slowed down to keep the commodity fresh. Ethylene production Ethylene is a hormone in gas form which causes the following in harvested crops. Hasen ripening promotes sprouting of fruit tuber and bulb crops, induces abscission of leaves, petals, or cut flower. Implication, if you want to avoid the ethylene effects, eliminate ethylene from the atmosphere surrounding the commodity. On the other hand, if you want to hasten the ripening process, add ethylene or induce it to increase. Conditions which will slow down the rate of respiration and transpiration in plants Low temperature The higher the temperature above the optimum temperature, the faster is the rate of respiration and transpiration and consequently shorter post-harvest life. Keeping a commodity at a low temperature is thus the most effective way of extending post-harvest life. So, refrigeration comes in or freezing is needed. Low oxygen in the immediate environment, a high concentration of oxygen at 21% will result to faster respiration rate and shorter post-harvest life. Oxygen levels below 21% but usually not less than 5% will slow down respiration. Very low oxygen concentration will however result in fermentation, which is an abnormal form of respiration resulting in alcoholic odor or undesirable flavor and tissue collapse. High relative humidity. The lower the relative humidity of the air, the faster is the transpiration. Since commodities are considered to have relative humidity close to 100%, it is therefore important to keep them under moist conditions. That is, at high relative humidity, even at low temperature. So that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka sa mga lessons natin. Masalamat!